what you're giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of What's up guys, it's me, CJ. In this video, I will show you how to create a 3D animal cell. And also, we will learn from different parts of it. Are you ready? Let's go in 3, 2, 1. Two hours later. Hello guys, it's me, CJ, and this is an animal cell. We will talk about the different parts of animal cells and its functions. So guys, the first part is the vacuoles. Vacuoles are storage bubbles found in cells. They are found in both animal and plant cells. They are much larger in plant cells. Vacuums might store food or any variety of nutrients a cell might need to survive. They can even store waste products, so the rest of the cell is protected from contamination. So guys, the second part is the mitochondria. It's also called as the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria are membrane-bound cell organelles that generate most of the chemical energy needed to power the cell's biochemical reactions. The third part is the lysosome. Lysosome is a membrane-bound cell organelle that contains digestive enzymes. Lysosomes are involved with various cell processes. They break down excess or worn out cell parts. They may be used to destroy invading viruses and bacteria. So the fourth part of the cell is the nucleus. The nucleus is a membrane-bound organelle that contains genetic material, DNA, of eukaryotic organisms. As such, it serves to maintain the integrity of the cell by facilitating transcription and replication processes. It is the largest organelle inside the cell, taking up about a tenth of the entire cell volume. So the fifth part of the cell is the endoplasmic reticulum. Here, a continuous membrane system that forms a series of flattened sacs within the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells and serves multiple functions being important particularly in the synthesis, folding, modification, and transport of proteins. The sixth part of the cell is this here, cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a thick solution that fills each cell and is enclosed by the cell membrane. It is mainly composed of water, salts, and proteins. In eukaryotic cells, the cytoplasm includes all of the material inside the cell and outside of the nucleus. The seventh part of the animal cell is Golgi apparatus. Here. The Golgi apparatus, also known as the Golgi complex, 
Golgi body or simply the Golgi is an organelle found in most eukaryotic cells. Part of the endomembrane system in the cytoplasm, it packages proteins into membrane-bound vesicles inside the cell before the vesicles are sent to their destinations. So the eighth part of the animal cell is ribosomes. Here, the black parts. Ribosomes are minute particles consisting of RNA and associated proteins that function to synthesize proteins. Proteins are needed for many cellular functions such as repairing damage or directing chemical processes. Ribosomes can be found floating within the cytoplasm or attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. So the last part of the animal cell is none other than the cell membrane here. Also called the plasma membrane, is found in all cells and separates the interior of the cell from the outside environment. The cell membrane consists of a lipid bilayer that is semi-permeable. The cell membrane regulates the transport of materials entering and exiting the cell. So that is it for this video. Hope you guys learned from it. Thumbs if you like it, subs if you want it. And see you guys again next time. Peace!